So I was working on this nice snake and ladder app which does have some rolling dices and it looks pretty amazing and you can see that we do have some of the amazing things at the bottom as well some of the dices that i've created so these are the graphic assets and yes this is exactly how the app is going to look like and it's going to be completely in java and android but but the point is just when i was designing this something just stuck to my mind and that is amazing let's talk about it so I thought that what if the programming language would have to play a character of superhero? What did that would be and who would be playing which character? Now, just before we move on, let me state that I'm not going to be sticking to any one universe, the Marvel universe or DC. Let's call them all and think about what if programming language would be playing a character of superhero? Which language would be suitable for which character? So I came up with a, with a mini short list. Uh, because I wrote that down uh, just for a, for a reference point but again your inputs are really required to enhance this list and maybe we can do a part two of the same video. So who would be playing for Stanley? Now I would call up the C programming language for the Stanley because they share a lot of same characteristics like uh, they are both the creator of many in fact all of the things which are lying around in the universe every superhero uh, both are very powerful yet not in powerful in the case of just like other superheroes are doing but still both are powerful in creating anything or utilizing and everybody respects him and yet he is serving the purpose which nobody else can serve still not being uh, used everywhere it's it's not like a superhero who is doing uh, a web application development or a mobile phone development but yes yeah, still uh, it's the base of everything so I would call uh, Stanley as C programming language or if C would have to play a character, it would be just something like Stanley. Now talking about the superheroes, how can I miss Batman? Because there should be a language who can play the role of Batman. I would call up Python for this job because uh, both stays in a little bit dark. Uh, both are simplistic when they do the job in their style. It's absolutely simple and to the point. And also both are rich and powerful rich in features or rich in money or powerful as the hold or dominance as well as powerful in completing any job they have a lot of modules available or i would say a lot of wealth lying around and uh, surprisingly when it comes to the saving of the day uh, it's just a python and also both like to live sit in the cave with the simplicity and blackish kind of environment which is good for python uh, and also as well as for hackers or Batman just like a scenario so I would call uh, Python as Batman Now who would be Hulk now that was a difficult choice to make but I would call C++ as to perform for the Hulk because because of a few reasons uh, when they are into their simplistic form uh, they are very powerful just like uh, the Bruce Banner is a, a very calm scientist and uh, have a lot of knowledge is capable of doing a lot of things uh, but does a lot of lot of powerful some people call that as a destructive job but when it is in the form of Hulk uh, it performs amazingly and just crush out whatever the job is being given and same goes for the C++ when it's just normally being used it's just okay-ish and does the job pretty well but it becomes when it becomes try to become powerful like Hulk it can accomplish some surprising job uh, like Microsoft Office and there are tons of software which are being designed in the C++ so yes when it comes to its own original form it's very powerful and can crush the job within few minutes now one character that is one of my favorite but a lot of people just hate it uh, is going to be JavaScript and is going to play a role of Deadpool. Now, just like initially JavaScript was not meant to be designed of the things that it is performing right now, Deadpool was also not being designed of doing a lot of job which it does. Uh, still poking around everywhere, the Deadpool just pokes in everywhere in the X-Men universe or maybe sometimes into other universes, its own universe as well. So just like JavaScript is poking around in the server side with the Node.js, or maybe in the mobile development environment with React and React Native. 
So both are crazy, a uh, little bit hard to manage sometimes, uh, but they, when they perform, they perform extraordinarily and uh, some people just love the offensive nature of Deadpool and JavaScript, some people just hate it, completely hate it. So I would call the JavaScript as Deadpool or maybe Deadpool as JavaScript, whatever, you got the point. <laughs> Now comes to the Captain America. Who would be playing Captain America? And I thought Captain America would be played by Java. A little bit old, uh, yet fitting into the modern environment and modern world. Uh, very reliable, uh, does perform the job in its own way, own ethics and own manners. Uh, very verbose, always try to blah 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 stuff. So just throws the code everywhere in the verbose manner, uh, but still. Uh, they does the job, handles the situation pretty nicely and there is a huge fan list uh, of Java as well as Captain America. So I would call uh, Mr. Reliable Captain America to be performed by Java. So that is, that is what I think actually. Now comes to the man, the Iron Man and uh, both loves red obviously and uh, both are pretty insanely powerful, very, very fantastic and uh, they both like to create prototype as quickly as possible and, and scale them to a full-fledged project and I would call Ruby for that. Uh, both, are, both loves red, first of all, that's one hint there and after that, a uh, lot of prototype are being created in the Ruby and then scaled to a full-fledged project itself and both are rich, rich in features, powerful, not extremely verbose, uh, just insanely doing their job and doesn't care what the world think or whatever that means and uh, simply doing their job. So I would call Iron Man to be performed by Ruby. Now comes to the Spider-Man. Now Spider-Man is a new kid in the town and is capable of doing a lot of things. End of the day, it always saves the world. It's always fun to watch Spider-Man, but sometimes due to its uh, not so mature nature, it just makes things a little bit quirky there and doesn't really fit there sometimes. And uh, people sometimes make fun of it as well. I would call Swift for it. Now Swift is a new kid in the town. Uh, the predecessor Objective-C was much more respectable and obviously much more mature, but uh, it's fun to work in the Swift. It's very exciting to work in the Swift and it saves the day, end of the day, it always saves the game. Uh, a lot of people are orienting towards the Swift, but still uh, it has to mature a little bit, just like you will see uh, that in the Swift, I think version one, they forgot to include try and catch. And in the version two, they actually included the try and catch. So it's upgrading every single day. They are getting mature every single day, but yes, it's always fun to work with them and love to watch it. Uh, they're all, always awesome. So I would call Spider-Man to be performed by Swift. Now, there is also one uh, role that I would like to uh, assign somebody. That role would be of Black Widow. Now the job of the Black Widow is not to lift up heavy objects or perform like a, Sp a Spider-Man or Iron Man. The job of Black Widow mainly is to pick up some information, insider information that is useful and can pass them to some superhero. I would call Regex for that. Now there are a couple of reasons behind that because uh, Regex in itself is not a programming language just like super, uh, the Black Widow is not a superhero in itself. Uh, she's just doing the job of getting the information, valuable information from a lot of information and just passing them to some superhero and just like that regular expression is the thing which just picks the information from a dump of data and pass that to some superhero, maybe JavaScript, maybe Java, maybe Python or other superhero what you call that. <laughs> So this is the quick list that I have compiled up uh, for programming language as superhero. Now what I want you to do is go ahead in the comment section and notify how do you like this video and do you agree with my list and if there is some superhero uh, that is missing and you think that this programming language can play the role of this superhero, notify me in the comment section along with some, uh, some thoughts that why you think so and probably we can do a part two of this video because this is super fun. Super fun to even think about that how the things can be molded into programming and superhero. And that's it for this video and I'll catch you up in the next one. Of course, I'll be looking down in the comment section below.